this problem, we have tangent squared minus sine squared, and we're supposed to turn it into sine uh, to, to a power divided by cosine to a power. Now, we have to start on the left, and we have tangent squared and sine squared, so there's a few options of what to do first. I could try to use Pythagorean identity, but I think it would be better to use a strategy where we turn tangent into sine over cosine because looking at what our goal is, our goal is written in terms of just sines and cosines. So let's go ahead and turn tangent into sine over cosine. So we have tangent squared minus sine squared. Tangent is sine over cosine. So we have sine, and this will be sine squared over cos squared minus sine squared t. Now at this point, we have two fractions subtracted, and our goal is to have one fraction. So we need to get this uh, common denominator so we can subtract these fractions. And we see a cos squared on the left, so we're going to need a cos squared denominator on the right. And the only thing we're allowed to multiply by is 1. So we have to multiply by cos squared over cos squared. Now we have sine squared t minus sine squared cos squared divided by cos squared t. You may be tempted to cancel these cos squared cos squared, but remember you're subtracting here. If you are multiplying instead of subtracting, you could cancel. But we're subtracting, so we're not allowed to cancel. So what are our options? Well, I see a sine squared in both terms in the numerator, so let's factor that out. And we're left with 1 minus cos squared t divided by cos squared t. We're getting there. What to do here? Well, we have 1 minus cos squared. We need, let's look at our goal, we need to have sine to a power in the numerator and cos to a power in the denom denominator. Our denominator is okay right now, but our numerator is supposed to just have sine and not have this cosine in there. So how are we going to get rid of that cosine? Remember our Pythagorean identities. We have cos squared t plus sine squared t equals one. And I want to have one minus cos squared t, so I can cancel that, or not cancel it, but substitute that out for something else. So you subtract cos squared t to the other side, substitute that in, and you should be able to simplify it down to just sine uh, to a power over cosine to another power, and the a and b are just those powers.